Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I am Bava, and I am streaming today to support the launch of our site at Patreon. Let's get this all figured out over here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so we have launched our Patreon site. Let me get this stuff figured out here over here at patreon.com slash magic gathering strat we just launched today and we would totally appreciate your support um, if you're interested in giving it um, patron support starts at two dollars a month we've got a lot of uh, super cool milestone goals um, that we would uh, love to meet, including uh, lots of different videos, which would be uh, patron exclusives. Um, at least uh, you get a, a week lead on uh, anything becoming public, so you get to see stuff a full week before anybody else. Um, some stuff will remain patron exclusive forever. Most of the stuff um, will be patron exclusive for a week. And that's all spelled out on here. And then we got some cool uh, patron rewards here as well. You can make video requests, um, including grudge matches, deck doctors. Uh, we've got all sorts of really cool stuff. So check it out, patreon.com slash magic gathering strat. Um, $2 a month is less than a cup of coffee. It's less than a booster pack of Theros. Um, it's less than anything else that you might be doing. You can't even drive to the corner store for two bucks. So hopefully you will consider uh, making that contribution. And uh, we would really appreciate it. That money goes uh, back into the site for us to do more and cooler content over and over forever. So um, everything that you put in, you will get back out in terms of great magic content. We guarantee it. Uh, today I'm playing some Ristic Tron. Um, I don't know if I've made any of my other lists um, matches with this public yet. So you may not have seen it on the channel, but I've played quite a few. Um, the last ones I played three matches in a row against different people playing Blue Red Delver. So our goal today is not to play against Blue Red Delver. This is the list. It's a uh, Cybod slash Obzens list, uh, at least one of them from fairly recently, and uh, I like it. I've had some weirdo matches with it, including uh, a match that went to time. <clears throat> What's my favorite card? My favorite card's Moat from way back when. I have a lot of good history with Moat. Uh, my favorite card these days is probably Krovacan Mist. I love Krovacan Mist um, because it's part of my Illusory Trick deck which is over here for Popper. Boom. This guy's super fun. It's gotta be one of these illusions. I don't know, I just really enjoy playing this deck. Fathoms here is pretty awesome. Um, I also like Dreamstalker quite a bit. Um, this is my only Popper list that's ever done anything, so if I had to pick a favorite card right now, it'd probably be one of the uh, signature cards in this list. What is your favorite card? See Joe Jimmy Nick. Um, anyway, let's get to playing. We're playing Rhystic Tron. We're going to jump in and see if we can find a match. That is not Blue Red Delver. Here we go. <clears throat> get that down there. Where is our chat box? Oh. Yeah, get out of there. Get all our stuff sorted here real quick. There. That's looking pretty good. Uh, what do we have here? We've got a signet and some stuff and a torch. This is pretty keepable. It gets us pretty close to Tron. Um, and it gives us at least one white for circle. We've seen that other white. And uh, we'll be doing pretty good. It's blue. Is it going to be blue-red Delver? Double power plant, double mine. 
Whoa, 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 stop. Oh no. I had uh, done this in my last one. Damn it. All right. <clears throat> All these things, we don't need stops there. This is horrible though. This program, this is the uh, official Magic the Gathering online client, uh, MTGO. You can uh, check it out, just uh, do a Google search for MTGO or Magic Online. Um, it's a way that you can play Magic the Gathering online. It's the official online client. Um, so you do have to buy stuff. You have to buy cards and buy packs and pay for playing in events. Um, in general, it's cheaper than playing Paper Magic, and you can make a deck, and uh, there's a ninja, and play it pretty much right off the bat. Alright, so this is just probably Mono Blue Delver, but doing anything against this ninja is probably going to be hard, especially um, since we're just hitting crummy stuff. Burn, uh, hi Ursax. Burn is an excellent choice. Um, we're going to get the Is It Signet first because we want to torch this ninja. Um, burn is a strong choice in any format, generally, especially if you want to uh, grind. Okay, I don't need all of these stops. I'm going to give you a good opportunity to learn the format a little bit better if you don't uh, don't know it as well as you would like. So it definitely has its bad matchups, but I still think it's good enough to uh, consider. There's a cloud of fairies. I think we're going to be too slow this game, especially missing a turn because of my bad stops. All right, so there's Impulse. We always got Spell Stutter Sprite up. Spell Stutter doesn't count against Spell Stutter, spell stutter Sprite. Okay. Um, do we let him draw another card and play Deep Analysis? I don't think so. I think we have to kill this ninja. Do we get that guy? Land, impulse. No, it's not really working out. Okay. Uh, he's going to have some sort of counter spell up, though, right? We can't uh, can't try and kill the ninja into seven cards in open mana. It's just not going to work out for us. Um, so we'll have to go for the signet and an impulse. We're letting him draw one more card. But if we can put a torch here and get a Ristic Circle on the same turn, we could probably draw out a counter. All right, so there's the Spell Stutter Sprite. <clears throat> Countering the Impulse. Which is sad. All right. Uh, we can F6 through these turns. We've got no mana. No days. We just need a tower. And we'll be feeling a little bit better. It's not really going to help against this uh, momentum that he's got. And all the card draw. There's another ninja. Not 
to returning Spellstutter Sprite, though. It's a little weird. And a Delver. So he's tapped out. Now, if I hit double white, I can play Rhystic Circle. And that would be really hard for him to deal with. But I don't hit double white. Um, so we have to analysis. We have to try and hit double white <clears throat> this turn, if we can. Nope. That's crummy, though. All right. Well, we can get the map and the signet and torch, right? <clears throat> All of our mana, why not? Um, We gotta keep one mana up for days. We'll make it a blue mana because. All right, we're gonna keep two mana up for days because we only need to do two damage. And he could have two dazes. All right, he doesn't. So we killed a ninja, but we did not have our chance to get Rhystic Circle on board. And Rhystic Circle is the card that would have actually possibly let us win this game. I don't think anything else is going to happen. If he taps out again, that'll be great. I don't see why he would when he's got lethal next turn. That's not tapping out. Come on. Get cocky. Play something. You don't want to discard a card. Nah. Evidently he does. So that turn with the land, that could have made a difference. And there's a signet too, of course. Fine. It's horrible though. Alright. <clears throat> Play a planes. Okay, well, we lost that one. We are so happy to bring in our pyroblasts. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. It's nice for bone splitters. We don't know if we're going to see any bone splitters. Um, fadeaways are pretty good, though. Maybe two is enough, though. And capsize. Hmm. What do we not need? We need all of our signets. I'm going to take the relic out. He may or may not have treasure cruises, but we didn't see any. Um, so we can remove those. And, um, hmm. Fadeaways are okay, but we'll actually go for a. Uh, We'll keep our journeys and go for our pyroblasts instead. And uh, we'll try like this. So we bring in the pyroblasts, take away the relic and the fadeaways. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we'll play first. Hmm. Two land, we have Signet, so we have a Pyroblast, an Impulse, and a Journey. All right. <clears throat> this isn't super amazing. But it could be worse. So it's uh, turn one Cove and pass. Yeah. I think I like all those. I don't think I need the damage in the end combat. Okay, those look good. Um, do we pyroblast or do we journey? I think we have to actually, we can't pyroblast. So we'll get a signet. Uh, we have to ramp our mana. We've got no, uh, no more land in our hand. So there's an annul. Counter target enchantment or creature spell. Artifact or enchantment spell. Four. One. What a pill. I don't think he annuls a signet. I think he just, just saves that for a mystic circle. He could also annul a journey. Maybe we'd get rid of it that way. There's another journey. All right. One, two, three. If we do this, we can get two mana, right? Yeah, let's just ramp. Which we need to do since we're not getting land. Keep the red up for Pyroblast. If he annuls this. She does. Um, and the question is, are we okay with him annulling that? Or do we want this? Uh... We've got two journeys. He's got one land. So we'll get this signet into play. That uh, means we'll take three more damage. <clears throat> Uh, but we do have two journeys to try and get rid of this guy. Oh, there's a second land. Yep. And there's a Crusher. <sighs> That's not going to work, is it? That'll work. You have to tap a little weirdly around these signets. Um, and if this sticks, we'll cast Impulse next. And it's going to counter that. But we can cast another one. There's a Delver. There's a Pyroblast. Let's grab a land. Oh man. We get one of these cards into our hand and the rest go on the bottom. Well, I think we really need to grab the Power Plant even though we have an opportunity here to get a circle or to try and get a circle. Hmm. All right. 
It's a long power plant. We have more opportunities to get land than we have anything else. If we kill this Delver, he's more likely to tap out during his next turn to try and get another threat on the board. Oh, he's going to Vapor Snag it. Hmm. Should we Scry? No. We'll save that for when we can actually counter something. All right. He could still be keeping up another Enol. Hello, Turkish Yam Yam. Yes, we're playing Rhystic Tron, which is the blue-white Azorius Tron with Rhystic Circle. Okay. Preordain Whiff on land. Uh, we'll get our circle. Then we just really need to try and get Tron going to make this all work out for us. Or, you know, just get some more land. That would be good. Puts cards on top, but he's all tapped out. Nope, well, nope, nope. Oof, scary. There's our circle. Uh, Delver should flip since he preordained. Yep, yeah, flips to a mana leak. We barely have more mana than he does. Uh, but we should be able to hang out and build up. Oh, he's going for a ninja. No, he's not going for a ninja. I thought this guy was highlighted because he was thinking about ninjaing, but he just flipped it. Okay, come on, land. All right, so there's a research. <clears throat> So we could actually go for a journey right now. That would still leave us two land up, so we can make him tap out. That would be okay. And we can even have Condescend up if we need it. Which would be nice if we can scry too. Oh, good. Ha! Huh. All right. Quicksand, huh? That was probably me playing that. That was uh, Swirling Sands. Um, that was Ot 3's list. It was uh, Dervish Control. Quicksand. Too many flyers. Expedition map right on top. Journey. Swirling Sandstorm. Is that the name of it? Yeah. I bet you I can find it real quick. Yeah. Here is a link. There you go. That was a fun, uh, that was a good deck, actually. Ot3 makes good decks. That was a fun one to play. All right, so mine, expedition map. Rhystic Circle's out. Um, I think we actually want to research. <clears throat> First. Another mine. All right, we have map, map. Um, so we can ditch this mine, that's okay. And see if he counters a map, but he does not. All right. So if he has no counter spells, what? He could have countered that. He was gonna play it anyway. He was not paying attention, I think. There is a ninja, but at least he's tapped out. <clears throat> yes, yes, signet, signet, map, map. Uh, 
What do we have here? There's four. We do want hmm, sort of. Hmm. Mine, grab a tower, play a tower. <clears throat> we need to get our other map and we can get a signet. Hmm. Tower mine. I'm gonna play spells instead of land. We're letting him draw a card, but we're getting our Tron and stopping in with Ristic Circle starting next turn. So we got a little mana screwed, but we should be stabilizing here. And uh, that should be all right. Yeah, and he's got the spell setter sprite now to counter things like Signets, so I'm glad I got that out there. He can't counter an expedition map activation. He should have countered the other one. <clears throat> okay, so now we get our Tron piece. Mine Tower Power Plant. And there's Tron. And go for a Signet. Yeah, we want to we want to stop him from dealing damage to us, right? Uh, we can wait on deep analysis and just keep this mana up for Ristic Circle. Yep. I would like to cast Crusher with some backup. Does he choose to pay one? I can pay more than he can. He does. Well, so we do it again. You'll get a ninja. Alright, cool. No ninja. Keeping two mana up. That's not a bad plan. Oh good, we have Condescend back up for Crusher. <clears throat> Let's deep analysis first. and try and draw some cards. Um, if we get a little bit more mana out there with some Tron pieces. Uh, yeah, we can let him do that.
I want a Tron. I want another Tron piece so I can get more mana. Another tower would be great. <clears throat> hmm. There's another deep analysis. Grab another signet, ramp up a little bit more. It should still be enough mana to keep us alive. It's nice not having to worry about lightning bolts. He is cruising. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, this is so a uh, such a finicky card. If we get down to one color of mana, we can skip one part of this. There we go. There. <clears throat> if he gets a ninja, I'm still out of luck, but then he's only got one mana. You want to do that during, he has to do that during this step, so. Right? No, he has to do that in the block step. <sighs> Absentee. Okay, JLP8, Joel Pete, let's go. This uh, Ristic Tron takes a long time, it's a finicky deck. No damage, no card draw. No ninja. Three mana up, ending his turn. Compulsive research. Hmm, well. Spell Stutter Sprite. Yeah. Unfortunately, crushers don't fly. They do a good job stopping ninjas, though. Get a little bit more mana going. Nope, Ristic Circle and Impulse. All right. <sighs> slow, slow, slow. Yes. This is when we want to actually do this. I was doing it incorrectly before. Use your circle against Delver in the block step. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> there. 
He's our white mana. He's got five. Impulse with our last two. There's another sprite. Yay. All right. <clears throat> no damage, no ninja. Three mana, Spider Golem. Mm. Spider Golem is making this more challenging. We really need to get more mana if we're going to keep stopping these guys. Um, we can go to three. Play a map and crack a map and get a tower, so it, that evens out mana wise. Oh, it's an annul. What? We might just die because we're doing this. Oh good, a tower and a mine. <clears throat> Put the mine on top, tower on top. We still have to do that. So we want the tower now if we're going to live. So that means that we don't get those on top from the scry. I should have considered that. Oh well. We still got another tower. But he's still got six mana up and a lot of guys to hit us with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um Yeah, we'll die. We're just dead. Too slow mana wise. Too many threats. This is where we really need fade away because we get them to tap out on their turn, right? All right, well. Make them go through the motions. I think this is the, uh, the challenge that we have. I'll go through my colorless mana first. Too many guys. Yep. Too clunky. Make him fight for it. <clears throat> yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Cancel. There. We lose. Boom, down to negative two. 
Oh, stupid Tron pieces. Stupid Tron pieces. All right, I'm going to take a very, very, very brief break, and we'll be right back in just a minute. 